Oh my god! Oh. <laughs>Hey guys, it's Jonathan here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show talking everything BMW, all of their vehicles out. First of all, kudos to BMW for even coming out with their main competitor, Mercedes, not being shown here this year because maybe this is because of COVID or because it is, you know, one of the first shows this year. A lot of companies surprisingly not showing, but BMW is still here and with their new IX, which was just recently announced. They've got this curved screen here, and actually you see in the press releases there uh, does have this crystal um, iDrive selector actually in the center there. It's actually floating. Reminiscence of what BMW does with their glass controls. In the front here, you've got this membrane here that is, everyone knows that this is a self-healing. So if you get stones and, and chips inside here, this is a self-healing um, interface here on the very front. This is BMW's all electric vehicle. This is one of the first places they've showed it actually because the Chicago Auto Show is the new, is the first one this year. So this is probably the first time the public's actually had a chance to see it outside of private press releases. The size of it is somewhere between, as BMW has said, somewhere between the X5 and the um, X3. This is still a pre-production model, but it's still nice to see it in person. It's actually quite large than you would see. Another thing is that it does sit a lot lower than you see. Now it might be on an air suspension and that would explain that, but um, it is quite large. This color is particularly nice, particularly with this gold um, emblem. Like I said, a lot of people are seeing this. Um, this is a trend right now, these gold um, embellishments. So I hope gold is not making a comeback like that. All right guys, another vehicle here getting a lot of attention as you might expect. This is the new BMW M3. This is a competition. Of course, competition means that it does have an automatic transmission. It is available with a manual transmission, but that's not gonna be in the competition. A little bit less um, horsepower. BMW says that's to compensate for the amount of torque that you get. This color is absolutely beautiful. This is called San Paolo Yellow. This is one of the colors that was launched with this, of course, with the other color, which is the Isle of Man Green black accents here that has the gold calipers on the front indicating that this vehicle is equipped with the um, with the carbon ceramic brakes that's about an eight thousand dollar option if you guys are interested in those this is the what everyone's talking about these are the kidney grills which everyone also calls as lungs now the i now because of all of the edges with this vehicle it doesn't look so bad now i think these uh huge grills they do look a lot um, more imposing or maybe distasteful when you're looking at it when the regular like 440i the 430i but on the m3 it actually works this is a much muscular vehicle than what you're seeing on those we're going to step inside for one second here and this is beautiful this is an actually typical bmw what you've seen on a lot of other vehicle with the m1 and m2 shortcuts here you've also got your um You've also got your um, carbon fiber here. One thing I wasn't sure about on the configurator is that when you option it with carbon fiber, it gives you carbon fiber also in the steering wheel. I thought that would be a little bit too much, but on here, it actually works. Now, these are the regular um, M4 seats. You can get the carbon fiber bucket seats too. They are, they have holes in them, um, but these do not, these are not the carbon um, fiber seats. That carbon fiber would be on the back as well. This one does give you the, with the competition, you can put the um, carbon fiber roof. If you prefer a moon roof, you can have a moon roof in place of this at no additional cost. This has a carbon fi uh, the Harman Kardon sound system in here. As far as connectivity in the very back, you've got the um, USB-C. Of course, BMW is one of the few companies that does offer allow you to have wireless uh, Apple CarPlay, and they have finally introduced and allowed people to have the um, Android Auto as well. All right, guys, we've got the BMW M4. This one also is in the M4 competition. This is in blue. I believe this is Portimao blue. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but you've got beautiful carbon fiber inserts in here. Again, this is their competition package. This is, you've also have the blue that indicates it has the laser lights. 
These are the, um, and again, the gold calipers here, indicating that this is gonna have your carbon fiber, I'm sorry, the carbon ceramic brakes. The regular M4 will only be the uh, manual transmission. BMW again says that there because, you know, the manual transmission is not gonna be able to handle the torque that this vehicle produces. However, the purists are still gonna opt for or for the manual, but kudos to BMW for still making the manual in the case where it's completely fleeting in this market. Absolutely beautiful. Now these seats are not still not the carbon uh, seats, but these are the extended leather Marina with the illuminated um, N4, which has always been. I'm glad BMW kept that. a lot of in performance accessories that you can add to the vehicle if you so desire but i have to say in the m4 uh, way this looks really amazing even with the kidney grills i think a lot of people are warming up to it and a lot of people saying hey it's fitting so good job to bmw for you know ignoring what everybody says and doing their own thing because this looks absolutely amazing all right guys next up is the bmw 440i now this is their this has a sport package on it as you can see, they have the M Sport kick plates right here, but this is not the M550, uh, which gives you a little bit more performance before you go up into the, M, um, the M5, the M5 competition. However, still, this vehicle is so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so beautiful in here. Oh, this is the best seat I've sat in all day. But you've got these nice um, design in the lights. I know a lot of people have talked about that, but this is worth mentioning because it is very nice. The moonroof could be a little bit bigger, but that's as far as it goes for your um, occupants. You've got the iDrive controller here that you're able to twist, um, shift back and forth, and in certain interfaces, you are able to draw on this to write out perhaps like a address. You've got USB right here and a wireless charger right here. All their connectivity, you've got one USB port right in the, or USB-C in the very back. Now, of course, this is just the M Sport one. This is not the M5. So there are no um, M1 and M2 settings, but you do have the um, USB-C in the back as well. Very nice application of ambient lighting. This is the X-Drive model. So this is BMW's version of four-wheel drive, much like you would see with Mercedes and their formatic. Again, Mercedes not showing at this year's show. And this is the 2020 BMW um, X3 um, E-Drive. This is a 30E, so this is a plug-in hybrid. And this was retails around, around, as it's shown right now, about 40. As about forty thousand, as about forty-eight thousand dollars. But you've got this really nice ambient lighting right here. We're gonna step inside really quickly here. Turn this down. Really nice iDrive. This is the updated iDrive. Of course, you're able to draw, draw with your fingers. You're able to shimmy it. This is still one of the best and easiest to use. Of course, you've got this design here and different types of um, ambient lighting colors. Of course, with you have the green, the orange, the amber, and the lilac white um, colors here. As far as con as far as um, uh, connectivity, there's just a USB here. We think there would be a USB C, but there may be actually there it is right there. USB C here, BMW not disappointing. It used to be that only the X or the M models had the girthy steering wheels, but now a lot more it's finding its way into other vehicles here and this feels amazing. Very nice, very expansive um, panoramic sunroof. Let's check out the back really quickly. This is really nice as well. Very nice in here. Even with the battery component, you're, you sit up very well. These seats are so comfortable. I just want to sleep in here. It's been a long day, um, but this is really nice. I mean, it's a BMW, guys. Again, now this is the plug-in hybrid, so as such, the batteries have to go somewhere, and that's where they are in the back. So you've got this little bit of a load lip here, but BMW was very nice um, to maintain this silver this metal uh, brush guard here. You're not gonna have a stair right here, but you do have nice hooks here to the hold uh, for groceries and this retractable uh, partial covering. Right here is actually where you pull down the front seat. They are spring-loaded, so you don't have to go around and push them back 
um, for the full them down, but you do need to push them up. The X3 is an important vehicle for BMW. They're having, they just announced, actually, if you look on the ground here, this lighting that's coming down, a lot of people just have puddle lights. BMW calls this their carpet lighting. It comes down through the bottom of the vehicle all the way back. So that's really, you know, beneficial for your rear passengers also stepping out. BMW, like you're saying, they just um, announced and showed their designs um, for their new um, X. 3M and the X4M, and this car is very versatile. Having the X3M, this one, which is the plug-in hybrid, you can also have the um, the M Sport variant of it. This is a vehicle that's still, you know, a lot of people, if they're not ready yet to go to the X5, this is a very good vehicle. Another, I say that this this vehicle as it sits right now, which is absolutely beautiful, is about $48,000. We've saw cars from Honda, Toyota, that are around that same price. Why would you want a Honda or Toyota unless you really, really wanted it when you could have had a BMW? These are the things I want you guys to think of. Cars are getting more expensive. The, exp the less expensive brands are becoming more expensive, and the more expensive brands are offering cars that tend to be a little bit less expensive of a little bit lower barrier of entry so when you're looking for a vehicle don't rule out the luxury brands because you think that you can't afford it so um, this is something you want to look at all right let's go to the next one all right guys this is the bmw x7 um, 40i with x drive now we're going to step inside really quickly i'm going to show you this it's very much like the x5 if you've been in an x5 the x5 is nothing in stereo really like the x3 but the x seven is like the x5 or should i say the other way around comparing the um small to big um again the beautiful ambient lighting that's here um this one has let's see if it does have this does not have the um um, um gesture control in which there is it would be a sensor right here and you'll be able to twist your finger to turn the volume up or twist it back to turn the volume down other gestures like pointing your fingers this way or that way to accept or reject phone calls there's, this one does have the um, heated steering wheel here. It does not have the autonomous um, cruise control because there would be a camera right here looking at your eyes and pay attention. BMW does have a very good autonomous um, cruise control feature. This one has, um, also as you can see right here, this has the um, air suspension. Um, it does not have the glass controls. That can be an option if you so desire. Also, what it doesn't have that the X7 offers, um, but the X5 offers also as well on their executive package, and that is the ambient lighting up in the ceiling in which there would be um, LED lighting also around here. Think of it kind of like Rolls-Royce Starlight headliner. Let's go to the back here. I'm gonna turn on the light here so you guys can see. There is a third or a second dairy um, skylight that's here now it doesn't open like this one does but there is a skylight there also for the rear passengers here you have um things like um you know ambient lighting as well you've got connectivity charge ports and a tethering hook if you need to hold something down that's on both sides which is very nice you've also got the usb chargers here and a docking station here they bmw does offer some uh, accessories to put like not just your um your a tablet but you can also put like a coat hangers and things like that there that's where that would be inserted on the second row you've got the fan speed here and the the um you've got the fan speed and also for the climate control this one i don't know if it is equipped we're going to the back and see but they do are available with a three zone actually four zone actually five zone five zone um climate control that is the driver passenger the middle row pass on left and right side and the third row has their it would be the fifth um would be the fifth um climate controlled area now this one like the x5 has this clamshell design this is an important vehicle for bmw fighting in the likes of like the BM, the uh mercedes gls your lincoln navigators around that era the kind of like escalate you can go on and on this segment is really endless but BMW has done a great job. And these are selling extremely well. I remember when they first came out, I immediately saw them in Miami. It has everything in Miami, but this is um, this isn't a very amazing vehicle. All right, guys, that's everything BMW here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. If you have any questions, love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. I'll see you soon. Thanks, later.